Hello, welcome back to my channel for another video today. <clears throat> now today is going to be a completely different type of video to what you're used to seeing on my channel. And so I'll explain how it's going to be different. So how it's going to be different is I'm sure if you're in the code community, which is probably why you subscribe to me, you are. Uh, I think it was the 8th or the 7th of March we were officially announced that the new Call of Duty will be Call of Duty Black Ops 4, developed primarily by Treyarch. And I just want, like, I'm just going to make this video just my thoughts, what I want from the game, what I'd like to see, what I wouldn't like to see, will I be getting it, what I plan to do in that game's life cycle. So yeah, let's get into the video. Now, first off, am I hyped for Black Ops 4? Yes. In my opinion, Treyarch of a best Call of Duty developers, I like their game. I like their games a lot more than any other ones, I love BO2, I think I, I didn't play Call of Duty as much back in the day to like actually try and play and do well and stuff, I just kind of played it casually, but even then I still enjoyed Call of Duty as a whole, and only when it came around to BO3 and then IW that I actually wanted to do well and actually tried, but I loved BO2, even now, like I'll still say to my friends that I missed out playing BO2, I really did miss out. So, and that's why I'm hyped for Black Ops, like, especially the Black Ops games made by Treyarch, because I think they just, I don't know, they just seem to know what they're doing when it comes to Call of Duty, they don't, like, mess stupid shit up, like, um, like Ghost did with a UAV, where they made a SATCOM, not a UAV, like, um, World War Two did with World War, uh, like, the kind of UAV, like, it's not a, no, a traditional counter UAV, I think, you call it in, and it just blocks the enemy radar for about 30 seconds. Now this one doesn't. For the actual count UAV to work, an enemy needs to have UAV above, like they need to have UAV first. So you call the counter in and it destroys that UAV. It's just different. We tried a lot of stuff for World War Two, and which in my opinion I just didn't think it worked out. So I hope BO4 can rectify this because I mean David Van Der is a great developer for multiplayer. Jason Blundell is an amazing developer for zombies. He made the whole. How many say made the whole zombie storyline as we know it? So yeah, I'll get into what I want to see. Now, jetpacks are boot on ground, probably your most, you know, your most asked question. And seeing as I'm a jetpacker, I would prefer jetpacks, but there's a reason behind it. The only reason I would prefer jetpacks is if, if you watch the trailer, at the end it shows clips from uh, Call of Duty Black Ops One and Call of Duty Black Ops Two. Which I uh, put the thought into my head and a lot of my friends heads about there could be remastering Black Ops 1 and 2. And the way I see it, if a remaster Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2, I think Black Ops 4 will be um, jetpacks. If they don't remaster Black Ops 1 and 2, I think Black Ops 4 has a, a relatively even chance of being jetpacks or boots. We'll have to wait until I believe it's May 17th, I think, for the, um, the actual official release, which will um, well, official like, t teaser trailer. Which will let us know if it is jetpacks, boots on ground, what era it's set in, what we can expect from the game. Uh, next, what things I'd like to see in the game. A hater or an advanced UAV like streak. Preferably like an orbital V set, a blackbird or a hater where it's like updated in real time, not like the advanced UAVs off of modern warfare games and IW. Decent score streaks, but not too, you know, not too overkill, they're not too random. Just like, I mean, BO3 was great, the Wraith was good. Raps were decent. BO2 was amazing for score streaks. Dogs, like the K9 unit, um, Swarm, Warthog, anything like that. Vito Warship, Lodestar, VSAT. So, I mean, I'm normally a support player. I don't normally like to run lethals. I mean, I, I might do sometimes, but I prefer non lethals. So, as long as there's a UAV, counter UAV, or a power core, or some sort of EMP systems, and a hit, uh, I will, that will be fine for me. Now I personally like the specialist features where you choose a uh, ability or a weapon and you get to use it throughout the game, just like we did in BO3 and IW. I'm more of a fan of the way IW did it, where you get a passive ability, for example like Resupply with Warfighter or um, Man at Arms with Merc, Rush Down with Synaptic, where it's always there, you can use it like throughout the game. And then you've got your payload, like Reactive Armor, Combat Focus, Equalizers, Rewind, stuff like that, like it's a big payload. But I'd like to see them because I think that it gives like momentum to the game. Like it can change your game. Like if you make a good play with combat focus or reactive armor, or you get a quad kill, maybe go through the whole team with a tempo. So it can really change the pace and the tempo of the game. Now that's what I like about stuff like that. Um, I hope like, a big thing for me in terms of Call of Duty is sprint out time. 
If you don't know what that is, it's how fast you bring your gun up from running. I can't stand it. Right. <laughs> it's one of my things. I can't stand it when there's a slow sprint out time. Like it takes ages for you to raise your weapon up. Like it is on World War Two, Modern Warfare Remastered, World at War. Now it's alright on BO3 and BO2 because there's a perk to counteract that. There's dexterity on BO2 and there's fast hands on BO3. Where you can counteract that and you can bring your gun up quick. Anyway, now I like that. That's just my style of play. I, I, I don't like slow. I don't like having to pre-aim around every corner. Um, uh, stock is fine. <laughs> I'll play with stock. So like the uh, equivalent of stock. Like either a perk or an attachment. Which brings on to like, I don't think anything to do with your weapon, to say, should be a perk. Like, I don't think stock should be a perk like it was in, uh, I think it was called Stalker in Modern Warfare 3. I think whatever increases your maneuverability, while laying the downsides, should be an attachment for your gun. Um, I think weapon balancing, I'd say if it was more like BO3, that's fine. Like, yeah, you've got the M887, Man of War, VMP, CUDA, what are like the top guns? Well, XMC currently because it's just stupidly OP. But then, like the uh, underrated guns, like the uh, Weevil's really good, M16's good, AM94's good, ICR's got a buff, XR2, like all usable. Like, there's not one standout gun compared to IW, Titan, Raw, K Bar, NV4. You're not going to really see another gun in public except that. Um, I'd like to see 100 points per kill in Dom. I have faith in Treyarch for doing that because they haven't not done it before and I don't see why we would like, we'll reduce it to 50 or 75. Like 75 is not bad, it works for IW because it's a fast paced game, but if BO4 is going to be a slow paced game then I think it should be uh, 100 points per kill. Um, now, when I'm not playing multiplayer I like to just casually play zombies. Now, zombies was fun for me back in the day when I didn't take COD like, as serious. I just generally enjoy just relaxing on zombies with my mates just fucking around, maybe doing easter eggs and stuff. Now, Jason Blundell and his team have made a hell of a zombie storyline with World of War, BO1, BO2 and BO3. So I have absolute, I have so much faith in them creating an even more complex storyline to either follow on from a BO3 one or start completely over in the next game. Like, BO, like when you think of Treyarch zombies, they've only really let us down once with maps and that's transit. But apart from that, viewers have good aspects of them and we've really created some amazing maps. Like, Derise and Drak, Gora, Krovi, uh, Mob of the Dead, Origins, even the simple ones like Nactar and Tortons, uh, the Rooks, they're like simple but they're good maps. And that's what I enjoy. I like zombies, I like the survival of zombies, like the random box, pack a punch, perks, all stuff like that. So in zombies, I, I think it's going to be good because they've never let us down before apart from <laughs> transit. But apart from that, you can't really fault zombies as a whole. Um, I hope hardcore specific is just going into the really nitty gritty stuff. But hardcore is like I, I'd prefer the team kill to be ricochet rather than shoot your teammates. But that's being really nitpicky. And I think because of the fact of how much Call of Duty is played now, compared to how much it was played in the day, I think there needs to be either level 1000, 30 prestigious, 40 prestigious, something like that. Because 10 prestigious, well, I mean, like. Solo players like Korean did a, a personal Xbox like a below for did a week, two weeks, three weeks or something. So, you know, I mean, ten procedures isn't going to be enough. You'll need like, you will need level thousand or thirty procedures or something like that. So yeah, I know this is a really long commentary and I've probably really fucked it up in some places, but it's like nine minutes long. So I really can't bother to do it again. So I hope you get what I'm trying to say, just what I want to see from Bo4. Uh, the gameplay of the back one, by the way, was a so uh, no, it wasn't solo. It was a triple nuke choke. I, no, it was a double nuke choke. But I didn't actually get any any nukes in this game. I got trip mined off one, and I believe I got scarabed off the other. A scarab <laughs> RC car. That was on hard point nuke town, I think, and I think I got about 80, 90 kills or something in the end. So it was a good game. Don't get me wrong, but wish I could have got the nukes. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.